All right, what's up guys? This is Alan over at Sonic Electronics. So uh, basically we're getting close to being done on this uh, Dodge Ram uh, iPad mini install here. Uh, got a couple of final little steps on painting. We're gonna get the silver back in the trim on the dash so that way it looks uh, more like a factory piece. Been real busy at the shop here so we haven't had a whole lot of time to get it done as fast as we possibly wanted to. Um, but um, just wanted to go over basically a few steps which you'll see in the video. Uh, basically, I took the stock dash piece, uh, I took ABS plastic, um, and basically made a housing for the iPad mini to slide into. Um, then, then went ahead and actually cut pieces to basically form it to the dash. Um, and what I basically used for that is actually CA glue um, and the accelerator spray to make it dry really fast. But basically, we glued and epoxied the frame that I made to the dash piece itself, and then went ahead and built pieces around it. Uh, grinded it down, got kind of some of the shape that we wanted, used body filler to, to fill in uh, where you couldn't really fill in with plastic, and uh, sanded it all down, body worked it, and uh, now we're basically at uh, the final stages of painting. We're gonna pop it in there and just kind of show you what it, what it looks like. So uh, stay tuned and uh, check it out. All right, so now that we got everything painted the way we wanted it, basically what we did is we went ahead and painted the dash. We matched this original factory silver trim that the uh, vents had to match the silver trim on the truck. And uh, we went ahead and put suede in here. Uh, it gives it a really nice touch when the iPad is out, and it also makes it slide in and out of there really easily, which is nice. Um, as you can see here, we did integrate the new lightning connector, and uh, let's slide her in. So I do want to point out that it is charging. Um, we are using a uh, eye streamer, which the iPad is connected to. It's basically a way of extracting the audio out of the iPad um, using a higher quality DAC, which is a digital analog converter. And that piece is hooked up to our Audison Bit 1 here. Um, let's just play something really fast. This is um, Spotify. So obviously, um, if you're doing something like this, you probably love music like I do. I think the cool thing about having this in the dash is having your apps. Uh, YouTube, HBO, DirecTV, uh, Google, Gmail, some games. Of course, you've got your, uh, your internet. If you want to search something, let's look up something. Oh, here we go. This is a good website. SonicElectronics.com Of course, most important, GPS. Everybody's got to have a GPS unit in their in their vehicle nowadays. I mean, that's almost a standard thing, and you can't really get better than the, the uh, GPS that's on like most of these tablets now. So, um, if we want to watch a movie, let's hit play there. I personally am a big fan of the iPad Mini. I think it's a lot more practical for uh, mounting it in the dash. Uh, we went with the slide-in method. Uh, because we wanted charging, we wanted it to be more integrated to the car. Um, if you live in the greater Los Angeles area and you're interested in any type of fabrication, uh, tablet installation, or even uh, if you live out of the area, you could even send us in your, in your dash and uh, uh, we, can, we can alter it and put in a, a tablet of your choice. It doesn't have to be an iPad, it could be a Nexus, it could be whatever you want. Uh, give us a call, we'd love to talk to you and help you out. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Alan at Sonic Electronics.